All right, I'll go ahead and run the program. Uh, I'm not going to put any coolant on it. I'm just going to run it dry because otherwise the coolant, the pot, the chips will just pile up all over it, and you won't be able to see much going on. So I'll just run it dry and try to keep it clean. Uh, see what happens. Now I've just fired everything up here. I haven't run a part today or anything. I didn't get finished last night after I did the other video, so it's why I didn't put another one up last night. But uh, I'm going to have my finger near the e stop just in case. So here we go. speeds as I go. The end wheel's sticking out kind of far, so... This is just the rough, the rough cut. It's going to go back around. It's going to drop just a tiny bit, and it's going to come in just a tiny bit and run around it again to leave a nice smooth finish. Okay, and then it's going to drop. then come in just a hair and go around again. chatter because it's sticking out, the end mill's sticking out further than it should, but that's something I'm going to resolve when I get my spindle, with my other spindle put in. When it comes around, when it gets to here, where I'm wanting it to do the angle, it's going to do the angle. And it's going to jump back over, shift, and cut the flange off, essentially. But leave the, leave the flange and cut the excess. shorten that length. Okay, it's going to come down, it's going to go, actually I could drop that, uh, speed that up too. It's going to go a lot deeper. Alright, and that's as far as I've gotten so far. It's actually, uh, after it does all that, is when it's going to go in, it's going to come around and do the corner trim out those corners like I was talking about um, but you can see how it went up went around the twice did that angle came back chopped down on the uh, on this part here so when I machine up to leave the flange that's gonna drop right off with it so that's where that is so far I actually had it done yesterday but I, I, was, I got really tired and I had to get ready for work yes I had to work today and I worked my rear end off today it's been it was a very long day um, but, uh, you know, it's about 8 o'clock in the evening, so I'll get this up here by 10 o'clock maybe or something. Um, but that's 
you know, how you go about it, kind of, you know, as far as your G code. I mean, I'm going to show a lot of more things, but um, that's basics, you know. Uh, you know, I had to take some time, you know, do some, do some cuts, write some code, see how it was coming out. I could see where I needed to bump the end mill over on a certain cut or something. Went back in the program, tweaked that dimension. You know, the, the, all this code is just kind of wrote out by hand. If, if you know G-code, if you can learn G-code, which you can do without a, even having a machine, you can you can download Mach 3 onto your computer. Uh, you can write G-code, you can run it, you can watch the tool paths on the program, and it doesn't cost anything. The trial version will actually run. I mean, I'm still running on the trial right now, actually, uh, but there's some things that I need to do in there that I can't, so I'm, I'm going to have to spring for it. Um, but there's um, there's a lot more to it, obviously. But uh, and I'll show things as I go, you know, feed it in steps as we do a little more complex stuff. Uh, I want to thank everybody for all their comments and questions and stuff. I, I do try to get to the questions. I've just been really tired in the last couple of days and been doing a lot, so I haven't had a chance to uh, um, answer replies and stuff. I have watched some videos out there. Just some good stuff going on as usual. Um, but anyway, uh, as I get a little more on here, I'll uh, do another upload. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later.